So I take the twelve hundred dollars, and this big old colored guy kept coming in, wanting to buy the Cadillac before anything ever happened to it. He had a top hat on, and he wore a red sports coat, some kind of a magician or uh, something. Thank so you. anyway. He wants my Cadillac in the worst way. So I told him, I said, okay, but I said, I'll tell you what, I'll sell you that Cadillac. And he said, well, how much you want for it? I said, give me $900 right now, cash and insurers. Whips out $900, lays it there on the bar. I go behind the bar, get the, because I had the title in the register, signed it give it to him. I took the $900 and I go up and I buy this Lincoln Continental and it's white. Beautiful car. And I take it and I just, uh, uh, Guy Farrell down there in San Antonio called me and he had a whole bunch of apartments that he had to paint. He wanted to know if I wanted to come down. So I took a little time off from work. Went down, went to Stewart's place. We put an alternator on it because the alternator went out about uh, 300 miles from San Antonio. Bought a bought an alternator for it. Put it on there. He had a bondo mobile. Like a bondo mobile. Yeah. yeah. 1966 yeah. Pontiac Le Mans, 230 overhead cam six. Not that I remember a damn thing about it. <laughs> Got stuck in the mud. Yeah. Anyway, he had it, you know. Uh, I took this white thing and we went over to the officer's club over there. And we're going down through there, you know, and all these guys are running and they're marching and all, they, they're all saluting the car. <laughs> and I said, what the hell are they doing to salute in the car? He's an officer. <laughs> yeah, the, and, and I had the short haircut, you know, and the whole shot. And he said, well, they think you're an officer. And he said, if you ain't, if they ain't going to take a chance of not. He said, they salute you. If it don't move, they, they salute you. So anyway, <clears throat> we go on over. I think we drank all night. Never lost a game. No, yeah. not you. No, never. Not you, who are you? <laughs> we yeah. shot pool and never lost a game. <laughs> All because we had a pool table at home there on Hollywood Circle at one time. <laughs> but this was all after the divorce and all that shot. And I was out, like I say, bartending and painting. I, I painted uh, hey, babe. for a week. Anyway, I painted for a week, and in that week I made $3,300. You got so much for a single apartment, you got so much for a double, and you got so much for a penthouse. And I also got to swim in the pool yeah. at uh, La Posada down there. <clears throat> it was one of the apartment complexes in San Antonio. Uh, Anyway, I made good money, stayed with Guy and Sue, and I stayed a week. He wants my car. I said, I ain't <laughs> selling you my your car. car. <laughs> so I finally, I, I got in my car and I come back home. It was like riding in a, or flying an airplane. Mm -hmm. The dash and everything come around you in this Continental. And it do 120 easy, which... I had no problem with it. It was like flying anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a nice car. There's one sets up here on Laramie Street every now and then. What I ended up doing was Pixie and Lonnie wanted that car. Well they were running the store at that time and everything and I decided, well, what the hell, I'll sell it to them. So I sold two thousand dollars. I only give 1200 for it. Yeah. Yeah, well, but other than that, then, uh, trying to 
think, did I? No. I bought a car <laughs> over there. What you doing? When you were living on Hollywood Circle, I went and bought an Oldsmobile. What did you do? Prior to that, the Oldsmobile station wagon. Yeah. Prior the, to uh, that, I bought you a Ford station wagon. With the 425 or 429 uh, Oldsmobile engine in it. Well, anyway, because I don't remember a thing about it. The kid, <laughs> the, kid the, the, the guy I hired couldn't get it to run. Couldn't get it to run. Oh no, the the blue Oldsmobile station wagon, the 429. We took Oldsmobile it to Florida. That ran. Yeah, but we took it to Florida. Well, so the, the one that we bought before that from my mom's friend, the Ford, that that was sucked. a piece of shit. <laughs> and we couldn't well, get what was his name that we couldn't get to fix. Found on road dead, but from he worked at Caterpillar. On road dead. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He on come on over. Road dead. Anyway, fix the repair. Fix the repair daily. I put about <laughs> I put about six hundred dollars in that Ford before I finally just said to hell with it, chunk it. It had every new part on it that I think you could think of. But that was that was also a station wagon. It's a white station wagon. Station wagon that <clears throat> your mom's friend wanted yeah. you to have. Anyway, I never found out. That yeah. was a, it never ran. No, it never ran. It never ran. And the the blue Oldsmobile <clears throat> 429. It would fly. It ran. Yeah. yeah. And it also got stuck in the backyard. We know yep. that. Yes. So it was stuck in the backyard. <coughs> you want to tell that story? Well, <laughs> you know what I had him do, don't you? I had him jack it up and put boards underneath the wheels. But why was it in the backyard to begin with? That was his makeout area. Keep hey. you safe, honey. <laughs> well, yeah. I, we knew who you were. But you were why was that the makeout area? For the simple fact that we didn't want you on back roads. Thank you. So he told me <clears throat> that if I needed to park somewhere, so he told me <laughs> that if I needed to park somewhere, it was better to park in the backyard than it was out in some country road. Yeah. Right? Uh, well, yes, because that's... You're, you're and there. that made my mom really thrilled. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that was another. How old were you? Like hey, well, you're old enough, old to, enough to have hormones. Well, so and that's drive. Old, you're old enough to have hormones. That'd be 12. You're 12 years old. That's hormones. No, I was like. Drive a driver's license. 16 years old, yeah. Okay, yeah. 16, 17. Because I went over to Uncle Bud's across the street and bought an <coughs> automobile after I jumped. I took junk price for this fantastic car that he was going to have. The white junk? I took junk price for it after I paid this guy for working on it for two weeks. <coughs> I paid the man. Harold was his yeah. name. And he lived in Creed Corps and he worked on Caterpillar diesels for, Come on. Come on. Come on. for Caterpillar. Anyway, I told him, I said, if you're going to park someplace, do not park on a country road. I mean, hell, anybody can come up on it, you yep, know. Yep. That's how a lot it's of dangerous. people get shot, shot killed, things like that. Park in the backyard. So he did, but he buried it. And it rained all <laughs> that night. <laughs> yeah, and it buried the damn car. <clears throat> so, but what I did, I told him, I said, I'll tell you how to get out of it. And that's when I had to check the sun bitch up. Put boards Put down. blocks and boards. And we did down. that the next day. Yeah. Because that night, you were like, all right, you all get in the car, I'll drive her home. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, your mom wasn't going to. Well, she wasn't happy with me being stuck in the backyard with a 16 year old girl. That had needed to get home. <laughs> she, wasn't, she wasn't happy with you being out back, but she wasn't there either at the skate rink. Come on, he's not there. 
I don't know where the hell is that. What, what's what happened? You know. I thought to myself, uh huh. I had needs. That's all I'll say. I know where he's at. <laughs> so I get in my car, my truck, and I go over. Go down the side of the building, and here he is. He's back behind <laughs> there. And I said, your mom's been here once. That's all I had to say. Have a dog with you. <laughs> so I told him, I said, now when we get home, don't say a word, just go to your room. I remember that. Just go to your room. Just walk in, go to your room. That's it. I'll take care of it. I never give him hell for that or none of that. <coughs> I mean, hey, no, it's, there's there's ways you can handle it. And there's other ways, you know. You could just be a whole complete horse's ass. Right. Well, I never I'm thinking was. it was mostly that I was a chip off the old block or something, <laughs> maybe. Uh -huh. That probably helped. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Tell yeah. you what, if I got stuck in the backyard in some guy's car, that wouldn't be that easy for me. Nah. <laughs> Everybody held a pay. Hey, I just, this is the way I, I was raised, and this is the way, because I parked in my backyard when I was uh, a young guy. <clears throat> but I did learn that rain will make the lawn really slick. That's what I learned. <laughs> yeah, sure. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah. Especially when you got something as heavy as a station wagon Oldsmobile 429 engine in it. Yeah. It's um, really heavy. Did you? Grass is really slick. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Yeah. It was a, it was a <coughs> car. Took it to Florida. Took it to, I think it was, uh, what, Maltry, Georgia or something like that to see your grandpa. And then he takes it, and he goes out to the booties, beer can hunt. That's when he found some straight eights back down in there, Georgia, beer yep. cans. I remember those yeah. cans very well. They're very rare. Had, had Charlotte Phillips with me. Charlotte was the name of the girl that had the orange brandy. Well, I don't know. I remember the name Charlotte. Oh, well, I don't remember Phillips. She's the one that Charlotte Phillips is the I remember one Charlotte. that went down to Florida with us. I think she was the one with the orange brandy. The orange brandy. Who knows? I don't know. She, she wasn't much of a drinker. She didn't drink a lot. No, she didn't drink. Mm. That doesn't mean she can't get uh, a hold of it. Because she did now. She <laughs> died of cancer uh, when Debbie was working up on Main Street at the for the Southside Mission, running a store up there. She, uh, I don't know what kind of cancer she had, but. Uh, I guess they never know. It was uh, I was down here on Larry working. I was back on Larry. She okay, but well, she used to come right up there on yeah. Main Street. <coughs> she come she come down on Larry Street. I was working down on Larry Street. Okay. Maybe, maybe I was just getting something fixed from my, from my inventory <coughs> from the store. And she come down on Laramie Street and told me about it. Oh, oh I think she did. A lot of them died. Dorothy died. Dorothy Short. I remember Dorothy. Same. Yeah, she died. Um, Jerry <coughs> Hidden, she's dead. Of course, uh, <coughs> sometime around uh, that time, of course, uh, Imogene died too, you know. A whole bunch of them are gone. Maybe you better get out while you're still alive. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, there's there a lot of them. They're probably going to outlive me. <laughs> <laughs> Just one of those, those things, you know. Of course, I don't know what else to say about Stuart other than, you know, he uh, was an old man. He was his own man. You know, so. Still is. Well, Except when I can hit him in the head with a rolling pin occasionally. Well, 